So here's the challenge. I have um, a virtual installation of Arch Linux that I use with VirtualBox on my Mac, and I'd like to move it to another Macintosh um, that's not yet running Lion. So um, AirDrop isn't an option. Um, I could use Dropbox, but uh, I'm a free subscriber, so uh, I only have two gigabytes of space, and, uh, and this is a nine gigabyte file. Um, I could transfer it with Bluetooth, but that would take all day and all night. Um, what I do have is a one gigabyte flash drive. So again, one gigabyte flash drive and a nine gigabyte um, Arch Linux installation. And I'd like to move it between these two machines. Um, so uh, th some of you may recall the days of three and a half inch floppies on PCs. Um, you used to be able to span a file across multiple disks um, and uh, and basically move uh, and uh, and move the file between computers. Um, using uh, media that actually weren't the size of the, um, of the, the or that were smaller than the size of the file you wanted to transfer. Um, so there is a solution to do this um, on, uh, on contemporary Macs, um, and I'm going to show you how, to, how it works today. Um, so anyway, here's the directory that, I, uh, that, I, and I want, that I'd like to move and all the files in it. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to uh, Disk Utility. Um, I've already got it open here. And uh, in Disk Utility, you'll open File um, and select New and Disk Image from Folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select, um, I already have this, uh, this, I've already browsed this folder here. I'm going to select uh, this Arch Linux folder um, and start by making a disk image out of it. And what we're going to do next is we're going to span that disk image. But anyway, so I've selected this folder and I'm just going to click Image now. Um, and uh, then it's going to ask me where I want to save it to. I'll put it on the desktop and I'll abbreviate it so we're just going to call it Arch. Hit save and this will take uh, this will take a couple minutes to do since it's a pretty large file um, but we're going to flash forward here so I'll see you in a second. And we're back. So as you can see the arch.dmg file has been created right here on my desktop. Um, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to split the Arch DMG file into a bunch of smaller DMG files um, that we can transfer one by one to our flash drive um, to load onto a new computer. Um, and so to do that, we're actually going to use a console application. Um, so the next, the first thing you'll want to do now is to uh, open your terminal application. Um, I use one called iTerm2, um, but the standard Mac terminal application will work just fine here. Um, and the command we're going to use is right here. So the uh, console application is called HDIUtil, um, and this comes pre-installed on, um, on every Mac, so if you're running OS X, you already got this. Um, and I'll explain kind of the full command here. So, um, so we're running HDIUtil, so that's the first part. Um, we're actually running a subcommand called segment. Um, and, uh, and then you've got this flag here that, uh, that's, um, that, that uh, afterward um, has this file path. And what that is, it's the location, first of all, and the name of the series of, DMG, of smaller DMG files that we want to create. Um, from our initial large DMG file. So, I so my series of DMG files, of smaller DMG files, are going to start with the name Arch DMG, um, and they're going to be located on the desktop. So, um, so, that's, so that's what that is. Um, next, you've got uh, this command's segment size, and remember this, uh, the, this um, um, E here is actually part of this word here, so just it's a hard wrap um, that's kind of splitting it up. Um, and you basically here you give it um, the size of the chunks that you want the original DMG file broken into. Um, so I have a one gigabyte flash drive and so I'm going to be a little bit conservative and uh, say I want it broken into 900 megabyte chunks. And you'll want to, uh, and, and just as I'm doing here, um, you'll want to make the size of your um, individual DMG chunks a little bit smaller than the available space on your flash drive um, and that's because uh, basically what's going to happen is uh, the, these files are going to end up being just a little bit larger um, than the size you specify and you want to make sure that they'll each that they'll fit on your flash drive 
Um, so there you go. So there's a segment size um, flag, um, and the actual segment size is 900 megabytes. Um, and lastly, um, you're going to give it the location of the original DMG file, and this is the one we just created. Um, so you can see it's on the desktop, and, uh, it, and it's called arch.dmg. So that's uh, and, and so basically that's the complete command, and so now I'm going to run it. Um, and uh, just hit enter um, to run it here and you can see that it's going to be thinking for a while because it's got uh, a nine gigabyte um, DMG file to process um, and so uh, I'll come back um, once this is all over we're going to flash forward here one more time and we're back again and as you can see the HDI util command has finished running um, and it's created um, a whole bunch of, uh, of smaller files on the desktop, all titled with that name we gave it, ArchDMG. Um, and so you, it gives you a list of the, the files that is created right here in the terminal application, and you can also see them lined up right here on the desktop. Um, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to go uh, to uh, we're going to go locate these in the finder. Um, they're obviously right here on the desktop, but it's easier to see if I go to go to it in the finder here. Um, so if I browse the desktop in the finder, um, you'll see all of the different files here. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this original uh, large DMG file from which we started because it's no longer necessary. Um, and the rest of these, um, you can see if I uh, if I give it if I go to the file information here um, that all of them are uh, around 940 megabytes, uh, with the exception of this last one, um, which of course is just the tail end of this series of files. So it was whatever was left, the remainder, um, and it's a little bit smaller. Um, but the rest of them are all about uh, the size we requested, um, just over 900 megabytes. Again, we were a little bit conservative uh, in the file type because we knew that they, these files would be, uh, would be created, that were created would be a little bit larger in size. Um, and the only thing that remains um, is to copy these one at a time uh, to your flash drive and move them onto your, uh, onto your other computer. Um, so uh, once they're all there uh, and they're all uh, in the same directory, um, you can just click on archdmg.dmg on your new computer. Uh, I'll do it here. Um, and it's going to open uh, the it's going to open a disk image that just has the content of that original folder um, from which we created a disk image at the very beginning of this video. Um, and it recognizes, notice, that uh, all of these are part of this DMG file. Um, so there's no need to recombine them on the other end. It's going to figure it all out for itself. Um, and so that's it. Once this opens, uh, which, it'll take, uh, which is going to take a little while, um, it's going to have, uh, it, it will have all of the files from which we started. Ta-da! So flash forward one last time, and you can see here's the disk image open with all of the files that we originally wanted to transfer. That's it. I hope this is helpful to some of you uh, and, uh, and, and uh, that you'll be able to use it in the future.